Senator Ted Cruz went to Georgia on Thursday to campaign for Republican Herschel Walker. Walker's Senate bid is continuing past Election Day for a runoff with incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock. In Georgia, if a candidate does not win more than 50 percent of the vote, the top two contenders go to a runoff to ensure the winner is selected by majority. Cruz, who had campaigned alongside Walker before, took aim at Warnock, claiming that the Democratic senator's ads touting his bipartisan work with Cruz disguised a more left-wing record incompatible with Georgia voters. Cruz is just one of many top Republicans who will attempt to help Walker cross the finish line. The balance of power in the upper chamber once again falls to a Georgia Senate runoff and is about to become perhaps the most crucial story of the political year. Now I've got to tell you, there is no state in the union with a bigger divide between their senator and the values of the state. That's right. Look, Raphael Warnock, you know, Herschel and I were sitting down at a barbecue restaurant a few weeks back having lunch. Actually, the depressing thing is, I was having lunch. Herschel doesn't eat lunch, which is why he's a Hall of Famer. And I'm a lawyer. But we were talking over barbecue. And we observed the simple dynamic. Democrats win when they lie effectively. And Republicans win when we tell the truth effectively. Now why is that? The reason is simple, because our values are the values of the people of Georgia and the values of this country. Yes. I want you to think of the ads Raphael Warnock is running. He's running ads all over Georgia saying, well, you know, I teamed up with Ted Cruz to pass legislation building a new freeway. And I'll tell you what, that is actually right. It was the Cruz-Warnock bill. I introduced it, I wrote it, he joined on board, and we passed it. But what's interesting is he didn't mention the stuff he's done. He didn't mention his record. He didn't mention that he voted to send stimulus checks to every single illegal, illegal alien in America. <laughs> Raphael Warnock didn't mention that he voted to send stimulus checks to criminals in jail. Raphael Warnock didn't mention that he voted in favor of school shutdowns all across this country. He didn't mention that he voted in favor of COVID vaccine mandates and the government forcing you to take a vaccine against your will. Let me tell you, I forced a vote on the Senate floor that said that the FBI should not target parents, not target moms and dads as domestic terrorists for speaking up at school board. <laughs> Raphael Warnock voted no, and he said send the G-men after the moms and dads. I forced a vote on the Senate floor and said the D.C. public schools should not enforce a COVID vaccine mandate that would throw out of school 40% of the African-American kids in the D.C. public schools. Raphael Warnock voted no to throw out of school 40% of the black kids in D.C. And look, this really underscores something. In a race like this, the Democrats They don't talk about what Herschel believes. They don't talk about what he'll stand for. What they try to do is they try to smear his character. They try to go nasty. They try to go personal. They try to go vicious because they cannot defend their record. Let me tell you what's happened under Democrat school shutdowns. Our kids' reading scores have plummeted. Our kids' math scores have plummeted. And the racial gap, the gap between white kids and black kids on their testing scores, last year grew by the biggest amount in the history of our country. That's what happens when Democrats are in charge. Yeah. 
But here's the good news. The people of Georgia don't want any more of that. The people of Georgia don't believe in the radical policies bankrupting this country.